I asked my students recently where they found their first or where they find most of their clients. Now referrals was at the top, but after that, Facebook. It was the social media platform where my students had found the most success finding clients. A lot of people don't realize how many potential clients are out there on Facebook. Maybe it's because it's not the traditional way to find clients, or maybe a lot of people think of Facebook as being just social with friends and family, not so much businessy. But think about this. There are almost 3 billion, billion with a B, monthly active users on Facebook. And there are more than 10 million Facebook groups. That's a whole lot of people hanging out in a whole lot of groups. So we know a lot of people are using Facebook and a good amount of those will be business owners. We know they're probably hanging out in groups with like-minded people. So how do we find them and turn them into clients? When using Facebook to find clients before you even get started, you wanna make sure that your profile is set up because I guarantee you people will be going to your profile to suss out what's going on with you. Two things you should do. First, clean up your profile. If there are pictures or posts you'd rather potential clients not see, then either delete them or make them private. Make your profile picture one of you so people can see who you are. It is the online world, but we still like to connect and know who we're talking to. Make sure you complete your bio. Include your work experience, your skills, your about, really anything that would be valuable for a potential client to see. Secondly, you wanna set up a Facebook business page and be active on that page. If you don't already have a Facebook business page, I want you to hit pause, go and make one, and then come back. Be sure to add a banner picture a profile picture and fill out the about section. Add in all your services and be sure to add a call to action to either book a call or message you. Next, you wanna start sharing content. It could be quick tips, interesting articles, maybe a blog post that you wrote, you could share that there. Anything that adds value and that shows you as an expert in your field. Once you set up your business page, you wanna make sure you add that to your employment history on your personal profile so that when someone hovers over your name and your profile, they will see that business page. So once you've cleaned up your Facebook profile and you have a business page, you are ready to start finding clients. There are two types of Facebook groups that you want to be looking to join. The first type is business groups and the second is where your ideal client will be hanging out. Now business groups vary quite a lot with the type of people that are in there and also the type of content that can be shared. Some are purely for networking and maybe you're not allowed to sell your services. Others might be for women only and then there might be some that are just job boards. I think it's worthwhile to join a mix of business groups to find what really works for you. Networking groups generally aren't as competitive, but you wanna be careful, make sure you follow the rules because you may not be allowed to do much self-promotion. Job boards are a lot more competitive. However, you will quickly learn that it's more quality over quantity, and you can absolutely stand out from the crowd. Now, if you wanna find and join Facebook groups where your ideal client is, just be aware that they might function a little bit differently than the business groups. Chances are these folks aren't going to want to be sold to all the time. So what you wanna do in these groups is really show up, add value, answer questions, and be an expert. This is one of the best ways to find leads because I guarantee you they will notice when you show up and when you're helpful. So once you join these Facebook groups, what's next? Some groups will have a welcome post and this is a fantastic time for you to share who you are and what you do. A lot of groups don't allow blatant self-promotion, so this is a fantastic opportunity, so I say jump on it. You then wanna start searching for keywords that are specific to what you do. Look up web design, web developer, WordPress, websites, and see what comes up. If it's a job posting, then comment on that post and apply. Don't be intimidated if you see a post that has 50 plus comments on it. Because if you look closely, most of these comments, they don't stand out. They'll say, here's my website, or DM me, or check your DMs. This is your opportunity to stand out from all those other comments and leave a really thoughtful response. So here's an example of what you could say. Hi, I am a WordPress expert, and I specialize in building custom WordPress websites that not only look good, but perform well also. 
If you'd like to find out more about my services, here's my website and some examples of previous work. If you'd like to jump on a call to see if we're a good fit, here is a link to book a call. It doesn't take much to leave a response that stands out a whole lot more than check your DMs. The other types of posts you wanna look out for are people asking for help or advice. This is your chance to share your expertise and your knowledge without being salesy. Let me give you an example. Let's say someone posts the following. Hi, I'm starting a new business and I'm wondering if I should build my website with WordPress or Squarespace. This is not an opportunity for you to say, I build websites, hire me, hire me, hire me. Instead, what about something like this? Hey there, I recommend WordPress to all of my clients for these reasons, blah, 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 blah. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And just like that, you have ever so subtly shared your expertise and your knowledge, and you have also made it clear that this is what you do for your profession. People really appreciate this, and the more you do it, the more your name will come up. Quite often, you may have someone else read that post, read your response, and then reach out. People are a lot more likely to reach out to someone who has already proven their knowledge and expertise and is helpful, rather than someone who is just pitching all the time. Now, the last thing I wanna add, and this is super important, is when you join Facebook groups, please, please, please follow the rules. Every single Facebook group will have rules. When you first join the Facebook group, you probably read something and you say, yes, I agree to the rules. Just keep in mind, if you don't follow the rules, it's a really good way to get booted out of the group. Now, rules vary between groups, but for the most part, there will be a don't be mean rule, which is self-explanatory, and also a don't be spammy, no self-promotion rule. Just make sure you're kind of up to date on what the rules are so you don't get removed. All right, those are my tips on how to find clients on Facebook. Now, when you get a lead on Facebook and you get them to book a discovery call, you're gonna wanna know what to ask, right? So make sure you check out my video, Tips for Discovery Calls. In this video, I give you my top tips so you can nail your discovery call and there is a bonus freebie that you can download. Make sure you subscribe because next week we are going to be covering how to find clients on Instagram.